Hi there. Thanks for choosing 1-2 lead. Please listen to our best practices to get to know how to send hundreds of personalized messages and invitations a day, just in one click. Please run the extension in a separate full-sized window for its proper work. Do not exceed the limitations. We suggest you use default limits for invitation messaging campaign to prevent being blocked on LinkedIn and send no more than 100 invitations and 100 messages on the same day. Until we release the backup feature, do not clear your browser data to keep your progress. For new users, we recommend to warm up your account, starting with 40 actions and increase by 10 actions every day. Sometimes LinkedIn runs A, B test of their features and due to that, some of the features might not work. If you see that something goes wrong, please, contact us and we'll fix it ASAP. Ok, let's get started. First, you need to install the 1-2 lead application. For this, you can go to our official site 12lead.net or visit our page on the Chrome store. After successful installation, press 1-2 lead icon on the pop-up tab, or open LinkedIn and click the apps icon in the right bottom corner. Then, sign in via your Gmail account. Well done! It's time to create our first campaign. Click on the button, Create Campaign, and type the name for your first campaign. Press Set Up Campaign and choose what you'd like to do, for example, send invitations or messages to your audience. Let's do some personalization. Press Save to proceed to the next step. Almost done. Let's do one more step and add the recipients to your campaign. We have three options for adding new recipients. Note that all new recipients will have in queue status. Here are some ways of collecting the recipients. First, you can collect your recipients from the search. For this, open your LinkedIn search bar, set up filters and press Start Collecting. 1-2 Lead will collect all the recipients from the LinkedIn search. Note that LinkedIn search results are limited by 1,000 people. Second option is uploading a CSV file that you may generate from your company CRM. Click on the button and upload a list from your PC. And last but not least, you can add recipients from another campaign. If you're already engaged with some people, you can transfer or copy them from another campaign. By the way, note that if you get duplicates, I mean, the recipients from the current campaign who also take part in another, these certain users won't be copied or transferred. After we setting up the campaign and adding people to it, we are ready to start. To start your campaign, just click on the Send button. Our CRM allows you to track and arrange actions with your recipients. You can see the campaign type, invitation or messaging, last activity and a number of users. Also, if you have some special users and don't want to engage with them, you can blacklist them with the setting, blocked users. Well, let's see what you can do in CRM. First, search people by their name, job title or company name. Filter your recipients by their processing status. For example, if I need to know recipients who I'd like to follow up, I can select this tab and enroll them in a new campaign or copy to existing. Recipient status. Other campaigns where you recipients are. Just in case, if a person got into two campaigns at the one time, you can select and delete him from the current list. Operations available with the CRM. Import. It allows you to upload your own CSV file with the recipients. Export. You can export all data from this certain campaign. Delete. You can delete selected recipients from the current campaign. Enroll in a new campaign Put selected recipients in a new follow-up campaign. Copy to copy selected recipients from the current campaign to the selected one. Note that if the targeted campaign already has the same recipients, they won't be copied or replaced to the new campaign. Set status. Changes status for selected recipients. For example, in a queue, invited, or skipped.
Let's create our first follow-up to our previous invitation campaign. First, open a campaign you want to follow up. Then, click on the Need to Follow Up selector. Make sure your leads are not participating in other irrelevant messaging campaigns. If you see redundant recipients, just select and delete them from your current campaign. Then, select all suitable recipients and press Enroll to a new campaign. Also, if you already created a follow-up, just press Copy to Existing and select a suitable campaign. OK, but what if some of them are already in the campaign? Don't worry, 1-2 lead doesn't allow duplicate recipients in the same campaign. Good job! Let's do some personalization within the campaign's text. Then, we need to set up a filter to skip replied leads. If this is your first contact with recipients, click Ever Replied to skip all the leads who have ever replied to you. This option is useful for excluding the recipients who've replied to your invite. In case you know that you've had a conversation with some recipients before, please select Skip if replied less than X days ago to skip and mark those recipients. For example, by setting up a filter replied less than 20 days ago, you can skip the recipients from a campaign that occurred 10 days ago. Finally, launch your campaign. Use personalization variables for better acceptance, reply rates. Create an omni-channel approach for lead nurturing. If you're getting bad reply rates, you can export your recipient base and try launching an email campaign for the same recipients or set up Facebook ads campaign. For the new 1-2 lead users, we recommend warming up your account, starting with 40 actions per day and increasing it by 10 actions every day. We wish you craziest campaigns. As always, if you have any questions, we're more than happy to help you, don't hesitate to contact us.